Hey y'all, Nick with Hog Season Fishing. Just want to do a little video on how to tell authentic Cuban cigars from not authentic Cuban cigars. I uh, took a little trip to Mexico and uh, I was learned to say the least. I'm just kidding. Uh, taught a few things, learned a few things, and I uh, wanted to share that with you guys, right? Uh, stopped in port, grabbed a little $10 pack of cigarillos, which uh, I enjoy sometimes on the beach, right? And uh, the price of $10 for these uh, was a little bit of a red flag, but then again, I was in Mexico, and I know things are a little less expensive sometimes. So didn't really think anything of it. Um, had one of these and when I got back to my hotel room started doing some research and realized that I had bought a pack of not authentic Cuban cigars right and I wanted to show you some key differences so that way you don't make the same mistake I did the first time and get yourself some authentic ones so the first thing you'll notice right is you can see the cigars um, this did have plastic on it but Authentic Cuban cigars are never in a see-through box, and that's something that I found out. Um, so if you can see the cigar, or if there's plastic, you know, covering the cigars, but they're in a box, but you can see them, not authentic. And that, I guess, is something that goes for every single box of Cuban cigars that comes directly out of Cuba. You will not be able to see the cigar, which is something I didn't know. Um, so that was the first red flag, right? The second is you'll notice that there's tape on the box. I didn't notice this till later, but this is obviously uh, assembled by maybe someone in their basement. I'm not sure. Um, the other thing is you'll notice the tax stamp, right, or tax sticker. Every box of Cuban cigars that are imported or exported, you know, have this stamp, but they also have a number here, right? and. Cigars that come from Cuba will never not have that number. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that the logo is printed on the box and the coins should be a gold foil. And as you can see, they are dull. Also made in Havana, Cuba, it would not be in English here on a traditional authentic set of Cuban cigars. So that is how you can tell if cigars are not authentic, right? I was fortunate enough to be able, and they leak crap all over. So um, I was able to, uh, I was fortunate enough to get my hands on some authentic ones. I had somebody teach me a couple of things and take me to the right place. Um, you'll notice the foil coins, like I was talking about, you can see them there. The other thing you'll notice, they have the DOP stamp on top, right? And that's a government thing. The other thing, like I said, the stamp, you can see here, but it's got the actual number. And that's something you can verify, you know, on a number of different cigar sites and, and punch that in, they'll, they'll show authentic as well. If you notice, right, Habana Cuba, Habana Cuba, there's no made in Habana Cuba in English. If you notice that, like there was on the fake pack and same on the back, right? Nothing in English. The other thing you'll want to notice is that on a authentic box of Cuban cigars, they will come covered when you open the box, right? And it's not a sticker that's printed on there, right? So if you have one that's a sticker, it's fake. So like I mentioned, you're never able to see directly into the box until you open it fully on an authentic set. So wanted to go over that with you as well. Now, if you wanna buy just a single cigar, right, if a box isn't your fancy, right, always look for the barcode, okay? And you'll notice that everything's in Spanish as well, except for the actual city name, Habana, Cuba, and also the three coin logo that's printed directly on to the metal case, okay? The other thing you'll wanna look for is I believe that's a cedar sleeve in there. So when you, if you look in there, you'll see the cigar as well as a cedar sleeve. Um, if it does not have the sleeve in there, red flag, that's gonna be not authentic, right? Um, you can also punch in the barcode numbers on a number of different websites as well, just like the tax stamp that I showed you here. So that's all. Just wanted to give you guys a couple of pointers so that way when you go out to somewhere, you know, on vacation and are looking to enjoy a, a, an authentic Cuban cigar, you buy an authentic one. And don't fall for the tourist trap like I did the first time 
and get your hands on something that was made in somebody's basement. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.